Hey guys, J Money here. Just showing you a server. All right, what you heard just then was a uh, 14 year old me introing a video for a Minecraft server. Uh, I think that was probably one of the earliest videos I've ever recorded. Uh, I'm sure I've recorded some before that, but that was the earliest that I could find. Luckily that was saved on a laptop that I have. It's just insane how far I've come since then. Uh, if I would have went back and told that kid that he'd have 100,000 subscribers, I don't think he'd believe it. And I still don't now, but you know, I've, I've, been, I've been making content for a long time, uh, obviously since you just saw right there that was when i was 14 years old in 2014 we're in 2021 now that's been seven years seven years i've been making content on and off only really being consistent within the last two years uh maybe uh, a little shorter than that but it, it's been a long journey and we've made it to 100k now i promised you guys i'd do a room tour once we get 100k and once the plaque came in uh, it's been a little bit. I've actually had the plaque for about a week or so now, but you only really get one shot at doing this. You only hit 100k for the first time once. So I just wanted to make sure that it was right, that it was special, that I, I hit on everything. But there's been a lot of people along the way on my journey, people I've played games with, other content creators, other people aspiring to make content that have come and gone through the years that have helped me along this journey. Uh, you know who you are. If you're watching this thank you and for all of you guys for supporting me for watching me for growing with me i really truly do appreciate it just uh, a little timeline of the games that i've played up until this point the things i've made content on like you saw in that video that was a minecraft video uh, i was a huge minecraft kid played that a lot i uh, want to get back into it kind of the sense you know vanguard's not doing too great but uh, we still really started making videos on Minecraft. You know, I'd recorded some other things like as a kid, like playing with toys or whatever somewhere. Uh, I don't think those videos exist anymore. But our first game really making content on was Minecraft. And then I slowly moved over to the Xbox where I played Madden, uh, if you can believe that. I think the first ever video uploaded to this channel, which was created in 2014, was a Madden video. Uh, maybe I'll play a clip from that. Hey guys, Jim Money here, playing some Madden Ultimate Team with Stumpy Tomcat 02. And here are some highlights from our game. Hope you enjoy. To get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Wide to the left. Picks up the first and still has some room to run. Touchdown. Hey guys, Jim Money here. I'm about to knock out a flashback set. So let's get right into it. Hopefully, I don't get something bad. All right, moment of truth. And we get Alex Smith. But I uh, soon grew out of Madden. I went into playing a lot of Counter-Strike Global Offensive or CSGO. Watch this insane wall bang. Oh, 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 it was a no scope too. Uh, that's actually how I met a lot of my friends. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's crinkling uh, chips here, and we're playing on uh, cash. Like, that was like the really first PC game that I started playing, because I started playing Minecraft like day one on the Xbox when that came out. I actually had it on my PC before then, but uh, my dumbass downloaded the Linux version instead of the Windows version, so I didn't end up playing it until like about a year after that I bought it. But CSGO was the first game I started playing on my computer. Uh, I started playing it because I watched people like uh, KYR Speedy and Sidearms like The Crew those guys playing it. So I got on there and I even opened some cases. And in my very first case, I opened a Karambit Marble Fade. I'll talk about this a little more in the room tour, but that Karambit Marble Fade I got, I immediately sold it. I'm like, this thing's worth money. This is just a game thing. So I sold it for way less than I could have on the Steam market while there's still a cap of like $400. And then with that, besides buying more cases, I bought a few of my friends the game and uh, we really just started playing like that. And then through Counter-Strike, uh, I met a lot of people. Two CT, one's going nice, one construction. This kid's nuts. I'm telling you guys right now, J Money is. Okay, maybe not, guys. But hey, that first one was sick. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. So that, that game does mean a lot to me, even if I don't play it anymore. After Counter Strike, I played a little PUBG, not too much, uh, but we did have our fun in PUBG. Oh damn! What's that in the scope? Damn, dude, what is that? Yeah, out of here. Damn, what the fuck is, is that? that, bro? He's everywhere. You're surrounded. Oh my gosh, shut up. Maybe one of these days I'll I'll put a compilation of the best moments of uh, some of the older videos that I have, but there isn't there isn't many. A lot of these are gonna not see the light of day for a long, long time or ever. And then of course after PUBG came Fortnite, made a few videos on that. 
just looks like a thick cock protruding out. Go out. Pop him! Yeah, let's go, bitch! Yeah, let's go, Sam! <laughs> There's two llamas? <laughs> hey guys, JMoney26. Here's an OBS guide of how to never get laid in Fortnite. Yeah, you know, it was a good time. And then the earliest videos here on my channel that I have public are Smash Bros videos. And, uh, I, you know, I played a good amount of Smash Ultimate uh, when it came out. I don't really play it too much anymore. I haven't played it in a while. But I still enjoy the Smash games. Uh, even if I'm not the greatest at them, I like to have fun in them. But, and then after that, uh, Call of Duty modern warfare came out on the pc that was probably the best cod game to come out on the pc yet you, if you guys don't know you don't play pc a lot of the pc ports of uh cod games were awful they're terrible very unplayable and uh actually i think the better or the first cod game to really run well on pc was black ops 4 was well, not a big fan of black ops 4 so i didn't play that too much but modern warfare was a lot of fun uh the pandemic has just started so a lot of my friends were home they had a lot of time to play games and that really grew my love for cod before that i was pretty casual at it uh, i'd play it for like a month or two when the game came out and then you know kind of forget about it play something else ever since modern warfare i've been die hard into cod i've just been grinding camos in every game just going crazy at it and then me playing those it started as me making like funny moments videos with my friends like just clips of you know whatever we were doing and then in march of 2020 i decided oh i got damascus you know why don't i just show people how i did it i feel like you know i got it pretty fast for somebody that it doesn't really play cod too much as their first call of duty uh why don't i just go over the things that i did and my how to get gold ars video immediately started blowing up uh it was my most viewed video ever after 48 hours or something like that which is crazy right now it stands at 246 right now it stands at 246,000 views which is insane still one of my most viewed videos out there but that really started me making modern warfare guides which helped this channel actually grow and become what it is today so i got to put some respect on modern warfare still a pretty good game i haven't played it in a long time but it it definitely has a, a, a soft spot in my heart that sounds like i have a disease but it, it, it's it's pretty important to me because that's what really got the channel going and then as you guys know the whole difficulty ratings and things like that that came out of that uh that was a fun time then after that moved over to warzone then some cold war and then cold war zombies like my first real zombies experience uh the first time i played it not casually it was just actually going for it trying to learn it so that's been a lot of fun and we're here now with uh vanguard out it being garbage or the zombies at least and then us going back to cold war so i don't know i just wanted to really go over the history of my channel everything that was important to me how i got to where i'm at and just really truly thank you guys for the opportunity to sit here and do what i'm doing it's been a long time coming i've been doing this my whole life this is the one thing i've ever wanted ever worked for and we're here so without further ado uh, here's the room tour. I'm sorry if I repeat a lot of the same sentiments. I recorded that before this, but whatever. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. All right, we got a little bit of a different video for you guys today. Uh, as promised, when we hit 100K, I'm be doing a room tour. So here we are. So uh, excuse all the weird technical stuff right now. This is my first time really recording on my phone, so I'm sorry about that. But here's a little behind the scenes of what my room looks like, my setup looks like, and then we'll be reviewing my 100K plaque. All right, we got the camera flipped around uh, right here. This is my setup. Uh, here is my desk. It's actually a pretty cool desk. Hold on, let me move that out of the way. I got, you know, my keyboard here. Uh, first of all, first thing I want to say, uh, nothing in this video is sponsored. These are just products that I like. These are products that I use. Uh, I really like SteelSeries, so I have a SteelSeries Apex Pro, I'm pretty sure is the name of the keyboard. I'm not sure, but I like this a lot. It's pretty quiet keys aren't that loud I like that a lot it's very good for audio quality and then over here i have the steel series rival 650 wireless they are plugged in but if you take out this little cord here you can put it into this makes it wireless wireless mice pretty fun and then you notice i have two mice here that's because i have my gaming computer and my streaming computer but joe look at all those cords do some cable management i got your cable management right here pal but uh this is the, this is the computer i play all my games on when I come over here, I'll show you what the inside looks like. Kind of cool, actually. I built this myself as well as my uh, streaming computer. So uh, they're not as nice as they could be, but I think uh, I did a pretty decent job. Anyways, got my headset right here. Uh, pretty sure this is the Arctis Pro Wireless. I don't know. I forget names, but it goes on this nice little stand here. And then I have all these little remotes and these are what power all these lights over here. That's how I control all that. So if I take this and go over here, what is this? What is floating right here? Is that a glare? That's crazy. 
Anyways, you know, I can turn the light off on that. I can turn it on, I can change the color of it. So, okay, let's do white. White, wow, let's do pink. Pink. Let's do low battery mode on my phone. So let's turn that off. Let's go ahead and ruin all the movie magic here. I'm gonna turn off these lights. As you can see, I got a light right here. I guess I'll turn it on to show you guys. This is what lights up the whole background. I just have it sitting on my bed. Another one on the floor. It just adds a little extra. So these are all powered by little lights up there. I uh, probably can't see them. Now you can. Little light strips. Just got them off like Amazon. Went on there pretty easy. And then I got the same light strip here lighting up my little vinyl that my girlfriend made for me. Probably the coolest gift I've ever gotten. So thank you, Nay. And it's, <laughs> it's so scuffed. It's not set up properly at all. It's just hanging there, but it lights it up good. So that's all you really need. Also, while we're on the topic of lights, here are mine for the webcam. I got this one right here, a little warm light. You know, it helps me not look so pale. And then this one coming from above, all lights me up right here in my chair. Pretty cool. And then if we do a little zoom out, this is what my setup looks like. Got my chair there, both computers, my my water jug. And then if we come over here, I, I know this is all over the place. This is my first time doing this. It's kind of like off the cuff. So I apologize again but we got my go xlr right here pretty cool i can do this it slides up and down oh shit Whew, that scared me i have my mic feeding directly out so immediate feedback uh, we also got a bunch of code cards here huge pokemon fan we'll get into that in a minute but if you want to take that code go ahead got plenty of them and then we also have my stream deck so if you ever see a streamer like change or whatever they're showing like right here hello there's me in the webcam like whenever i go to show off pack a punch camos or any kind of camo i hit the no cam button and guess what i don't got a cam i want to show the full cam guess what full cam hello it's very bright it's not focusing there we go hello maybe we switch back to game no cam all that we also got the nuts on there i have the brb screen which is not there right now i don't know what's going on and then the zoomed in camera Ooh. All that good stuff. And then over here is the actual camera. I use a Logitech Brio, very nice webcam. I'm probably gonna upgrade to an actual camera sometime soon, but for now, this works pretty damn well. But I used to record with the phone that I'm using now as my webcam. There was an app that I used to use that would let me uh, send that footage to my computer live. So that was pretty good. That's why I have this stand here, which is actually a phone holder. And then I just smacked the, the webcam on top of it. So that's how that's how I'd be recording myself also. It's a little scuffed, but down here, uh, if you look through the maze of wires, I have like a, a Christmas pop caramel popcorn tin that uh, my girl my girlfriend's mom gave to us for Christmas last year. And that's what my uh, webcam stand goes on to get the proper height. So whole setup's kind of scuffed. Uh, back to my desk, it is a standing desk. So if you've been to my streams like months and months ago, we used to have a redeem option to put my desk in standing mode. I no longer have that option because of these lights. Uh, if we go in standing mode, they will hit the ceiling and then my camera is no longer attached to my desk. So if it goes up, my camera does not go up. Anyways, we move over here. This is where I work. So I do all my work stuff, uh, not YouTube, but you know, this is my, my actual job where I do that. I'm not gonna go into what that is. I don't wanna dox myself. One thing I wanna point out besides this is my girlfriend's hairbrush, but she left it here, so it's mine now. But this is the mouse that uh, my first ever computer mouse is what I would use to play CSGO on. So if I ever played CSGO with you, uh, like years and years ago, I was using this, so I'm sorry, but I like to keep this around. It's actually really good for when you don't have a lot of space and you're not like gaming, but yeah, little mouse. And then obviously, the 20,000 dick pics book. I use that as a prop a few times in videos. Have my headset for whenever I need to speak for work. And then I have my calendar over here. Uh, I haven't really filled it out too much. I just filled it out today. You know, nothing too crazy. Just got like the days squared off where I'm working and other important things. But what you guys probably wanna see is over here in the background. This is what you see in the background of every video. Uh, we have, you know, just a bunch of random things that I like. I'm a huge Pokemon fan, obviously. Uh, if you guys have seen in my videos, I've talked about it a few times, but you can see right here as well. Uh, we also have the Bullfrog here. I use this when I got the Bullfrog Gold in Cold War, and it's pretty demonic. Yeah, shut up. So <laughs> I, I keep that around because I think it's funny. Also, I have a Karambit here. Uh, if you play CSGO, you know Karambit Marble Fade. Actually, in my very first CSGO case I ever opened, uh, I got a Karambit Marble Fade out of it. So I used this. So this is what I used 
to open my 100K plaque, which we'll be getting to. So that was a pretty, pretty cool moment for me. I got this off of one of those replica sites a long time ago, because this is what really got me into computer gaming. I got CSGO, opened up the case, got the Karamit Marble Fade. I sold it for way less than I should have. Didn't know what I had, but I ended up buying the game for a lot of my friends, getting them into computer gaming. And I met a lot of my friends through CS. So it, it means a lot to me there. Got a little Yoda lightsaber. My mom thinks Yoda's cute. So she got me a Yoda lightsaber for Christmas one year. And then she actually got me uh this yoda right here uh just a few days ago because she thought it was cute as well but we also got like some new art some pokemon art uh th from actual like cards that were like blown up and then actually painted over so they're larger than they should be but pretty cool also another gift for my girlfriend and the big thing here the brady michigan jersey where you can see my reflection in hello big brady fan uh it's, ever since i uh, i was a kid I remember my dad telling me about this guy from that went to Michigan going and winning the Super Bowl and all that. So I was like, all right, sign me up. So I've had that for a long time. And then also got all my GameCube controllers here for when I play Smash. Uh, I think one, the oldest video I have up on my channel is like a Smash montage. So pretty sure this was the controller I used while recording it. So that's pretty cool. Then in here, I have like a replica Pokeball. I thought this was pretty neat. You can hit the button on it. It'll light up. Yeah, I'm a huge nerd. Go back in. And then let's get into the nitty gritty. You got where I keep all my vinyls. And then over here, these are some of my favorite cards. You know, I got some dittos back here. Replica Game Boy boxes. I'm not about to pay like $800 for an actual box. I just want, you know, a replica one. It looks just as good. Some trainer boxes back there. And then some cards. Uh, nothing too crazy over here. Just like a base set, two Blastoise. You know, not insane, but still pretty cool. And then down here, uh, if you haven't, if you couldn't tell already, huge fan of Butterfree. My, me and my girlfriend collect all the Butterfree cards. So I got a few of our favorites out here. Pretty cool some of them graded and then i have my valve index over here so i play vr on it's uh pretty nice don't really have a whole lot of time to play vr anymore but it's there if i need to play it don't have a lot of room either but you know it's it's fun to get into sometimes over here we have the the yellow corner mostly pikachu cards uh, right here this is probably the best card i've ever pulled in my life i pulled this as a wee lad it's a pikachu gold star very very nice card got some other ones in there too and then also the box and then right here basically the charizard corner but all the red all of my favorite red cards. Just all the best fire type cards I have. Best looking, some of my favorites. We have a base set two Charizard here. Kind of scratched up a bit. It's not too crazy. I it's none of this is worth a whole lot, but I just like collecting them. Have a few other Charizards from like Evolutions. This is probably like one of the coolest cards ever made. So yeah, that's just some of my collection. And then for those of you curious, I'll make this fast. I'm gonna fly through here. Uh, more of the Butterfree collection cards here i think i have every one or one of each card ever printed for butterfree besides the new set you know older cards and then also recently i've been collecting all the muse so i got some in here i'm not gonna go through all that though just wanted to show it a little bit but now into the grand finale right over here i got this plaque uh this is what my girlfriend made me when uh my channel started taking off with the modern warfare guides so this was really nice really sweet uh for reaching 2,000 subscribers and 200k views in may of 2020 and then now we have the actual youtube play button here in november 2021 so let's let's go ahead and get into it open it up right here got a nice little letter which would be sick if i could read and then we take off the nice foam protector here and we have the play button. It's still so surreal seeing this. Yeah, I've seen this in the background of like YouTubers videos. Oh, there's me. I've seen this in the background of YouTubers videos for a long time. I've seen my buddy Chase's uh, play button in person before, but actually having my own is such a, such a surreal moment. I really can't thank you guys enough. Like this is actually like a life goal of mine and it's, it's so insane to actually have one. I have no idea where this is gonna go but I know that I'm gonna keep this forever. I'm gonna hang on to this for my whole life because this is just such a crazy, crazy achievement for me. And I honestly can't thank you guys enough, but we're not done yet. Uh, I forgot to show off this little table over here. I have a little uh, sensor here for my index. It's how it reads where I'm at in the room, what I'm doing on the VR. Also got, you can see two switches here. That one's mine, that one's my girlfriend's. When my girlfriend comes over, we set up an extra TV so we can both play at the same time because we are playing through Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl right now, which is a lot of fun. We also have my Wii right there in case we ever want to play Wii Sports or something or just any Wii game. And then we have my PlayStation 5 here. I originally got this for the Vanguard Beta or the Alpha, whatever it was. But now this is where I grind on my second account uh, for those Dark Aether videos. And I just have like HDMI cord going from there. 
to a capture card that goes to my gaming or my streaming PC. But if I ever want to, I can unplug it and then plug it into my TV here. There's me again, hello. There's Tom Brady, what's up Brady? So I use this as a monitor whenever I'm recording or streaming. That way I can like see my stream, uh, see OBS or whatever, see that it's recording. And then I game on this one. And then this is also where I see like chat who's following all that all that good stuff this is just an extra monitor so i can actually see discord and all that pretty cool but yeah this is uh this is the room this is the room tour oh wait most important thing i gotta be in the presence of goats we got barry right here we got tom right here huge tom brady fan if you haven't noticed already now i'm thinking of putting the plaque right here on the wall next to all this stuff but when i play vr in this very very small space i've hit the wall a few times like you can see marks and I don't want to accidentally hit the plaque, have it fall into my computer, because then that's just a double, like, that's a double oops. So we're not going to do that. But I don't know. I need to find a spot for it. I don't know if I'll put it in the background like other people do. I kind of feel like it's cliche, but I don't know. I'll find a place for it. But yeah, this is the room. This is the setup. This is where I... I live like every day of my life so uh, but again I just really wanted to thank you guys uh, none of this would be possible without you this is absolutely surreal that we're even making this video you know when people were asking me like oh do a setup tour do a room tour like months and months ago I was like yeah we'll do it at 100k not thinking we'd ever actually hit it so I just wanted to thank you guys again this is an absolutely insane milestone I never thought I'd hit so just from the bottom of my heart thank you guys